And we're back, this time I'm going to show you how to create the biohazard symbol in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start with an ellipse, I hold shift and alt. And I align it properly, I've got a perfect circle now in the center. I press Ctrl Y to switch between preview and the outline mode. I want to have it set to outline. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl B to paste in the back, and we will do that once more. Now hold Shift and Alt when I resize it. This is the basic center position. We can now simply use the selection tool, hold Alt and drag a copy out of this middle circle and we will reposition that to the top. Your smart guides, they help you in positioning it. Make sure that I activate it under view and I place it right here. Then make sure it's selected. Activate your rotate tool, go to the center position, hold alt and left click. We need 120 degrees, copy and then press ctrl D. Now we will use the bigger circle from the center position and copy it holding alt with the selection tool. Let me find a good position. What about that? It could work. But let me place it down to the center position and then I resize it on the top a little bit downwards and it looks better. So go to the center position and then upwards to have this second circle on top. Rotate to a center position, hold Alt, left click, copy and Ctrl D to repeat the process two times. So try to orientate yourself from the top and then just use the rotate tool to copy what you've done on the top for the left and the right button. We need another copy of this circle. So Ctrl C, Ctrl F to copy and paste in front, then Shift and Alt to resize it. Once more, rotate to a center position, hold Alt, left click, 120 degrees, copy and then Ctrl D. Now we need a rectangle tool. Go to the center position, hold Alt and drag it upwards. It's best to have that symbol somewhere as a reference, otherwise you lose your orientation quite easily as it's a bit more complex. But that should be fine. And once more we need the rotate tool. From the center position on. We need another rectangle on the top and it's a bit bigger. The smart guides help me with finding the center. And then I hold Alt to place it from the center on to around here. We need two more, so rotate to center position and once more copy and then Ctrl D. And that's it. Select it all and then use the shape builder tool. Best practice is to go from the inside outwards, that way you don't really lose your orientation the center one is just a circle and it's connected to these shapes. And even more upwards up to here. You can do the same here and on the left bottom as well. That looks fine. We can get rid of this, so hold Alt and then drag with the left click a line over it and it will disappear. Then 
then we need to connect these shapes. On the other side as well. Well, let us connect this one and we'll get rid of this small shape. On each side I've placed the original for myself on my screen so that I don't get lost. Otherwise it's, as I've said, a bit too complex. But you can also just pause this video and then recreate the process in your Illustrator file. And that's it. That's the final outline that we need. I'll press Ctrl Y to get back to preview. Everything is black for now. I'll just click on the center position and make it white. And here we have our biohazard symbol. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.